guys, I'm back for another video and this video is a haul video and I'm so excited because if you love makeup products, you will love this haul. It's a huge haul and I'm so excited and a lot of this makeup is for my makeup kit. So let's get started. I have this huge box full of stuff from the school that I'm going to and I'm just going to open it up, make sure you guys can see my address. And we're gonna get started! So first thing, I already opened this by the way, obviously the box is open, not gonna deny it, I opened it, I was excited. So first thing I see, which I already have finished, is Unit A, and Unit A just consists of this book that has your assignments in it, and let's see, this reading, this other reading that you have to do, and Oh, that's backwards. And a starting your own business, you know, um, little reading that you have to do. And these are great. They're not too big, as you can see. Like, I think this is the biggest one out of the unit. I think it's probably, let's see how many pages it is. It's only 55 pages, so that's really good, um, considering, you know, I mean, I've, it's, there's a lot to learn. <laughs> so I've already done Unit A. I actually just finished it. Um, it's, it was fairly easy because it was just the basics, but, you know, still. So um, I have four more units, or three more units. The whole class is, consists of four units. Four, not eight. <laughs> four units, and yeah, so... It only took me about maybe three days to do, and that's because I was super lazy and all of that. So the next thing we see is this brush belt. It's so, let me see, it's so nice. I love it. Um, the smell is kind of strong at first, but I remember even with my high quality ones, my Sigma brushes, it smelled the same way. I think it's just because of... Um, whatever chemical, not chemical, but I don't know. It just kind of smells a little bit like spray paint, and I think that's because of the handles and stuff. So it also comes with this chart. Sorry, my hair is like a mess. I'm like playing with it a ton. I'll try and stop. Sorry. Um, but it just comes with this chart. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but it just has, you know, makeup application tips what kind of products to use and um, you know the difference between like powder foundation and um, like a liquid foundation on oily skin dry skin combinations just stuff like that next thing we have this um, powder and blush and this is blush as you guessed it it comes with a lot of blushes. <laughs> Can you see that? That's a lot of blushes. Um, that is just, I believe it's 40 blushes and that's a lot. Um, I don't really think I'll be using this. I think I'll be either passing it along or doing something else with it. I haven't swatched it. I haven't used it at all. I just don't really, like I already have a whole bunch of blushes and I feel like a lot of these are the same. Next thing I have, and they all come in these cute little bubble wrap things, I've never seen bubble wrap that's like the size of the product or like, you know, like made in a little pocket of the product. This is a lip gloss and again I don't really like lip gloss on myself at least. I mean I may keep this for my clients but um, we'll see. We'll, we will definitely see. Comes with a little plastic, again, and this is what it looks like. It has, I don't even know how many this has, but it has a lot, and I have yet to swatch these. I'm kind of scared because I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not, so I don't want to swatch it if it's, if I'm just going to give it away, but I'm very interested to see if these are opaque lip glosses or if these are just really sheer lip glosses, you know, that barely show up. I am very interested, but like I said, I'm kind of scared to swatch them. Um, 
you know, I didn't pay for this makeup. This makeup came complimentary to my kit or to my um my course. And I think it I think that that's great. But I think that I'd much rather use makeup from like Sephora or something just so I know the ingredients of it that I know it's high quality, you know. Um this is a concealer palette. This is great. I think I will be keeping this since I already swatched it. Um, again, it, well, it comes with this little thing. I don't need that. But again, I don't need this either, and I hate those. But let me just hold this. These are all of the little baby concealers, and it has some color correctors, and all that stuff and you can also use this for cream contouring so that is very cool um i do really like this but i don't know the quality of it i just swatched it and it's kind of hard to just swatch cream products because you don't know how they're gonna apply you don't know how they're gonna last i'm scared to put this on my client's face so i'm going to be testing it out first as with all the makeup that i have i want to make sure you know it works well and just even the makeup from Sephora I want to make sure it works well. So last thing we have is eyeshadows and it comes packaged in a very a much nicer little packaging than the other products. I don't know why it's thicker probably because it's eyeshadow and whatnot but um, I am just going to take this off a little mirror I don't really want to blind you guys with the mirror too much so I'm just gonna put this over it but it comes with all of these shadows I believe I don't know it looks like there's a lot of them and I haven't swatched this either I don't know if I'm gonna keep it as I like I said I am scared to you know swatch this and not want to keep it because I don't know how the colors will turn out, you know, they're very pretty, but they can only do so much with this makeup. It's not like MAC or Makeup Forever or any of that stuff, and I'm not saying that you have to get that stuff for it to be, um, you know, very pigmented and good quality, but you know that those are going to be good quality. Alright, so I have a lot of products on my lap, if you can see them, I'm sorry. I know it's not glamorous or anything like that. I'm still working on this whole YouTube thing, but bear with me. I got three of these little cotton rounds. It's just a three pack, you know, it came in here. Um, these are great for toner, um, cleaning up makeup, um, you know, cleaning up my palettes sanitizing, all that good jazz. So, next I have this little makeup bag and it's not gonna, all, and then all this stuff is not gonna stay in here. I'm planning on getting little clear plastic bags to put all this makeup in, but um, for now I have spent a lot of money already so I'm kind of waiting it out. Um, but there's two things that aren't makeup products in here. And that is wet cleansing cloths, and these are makeup remover wipes from Up and Up, which is the Target brand. And then I have Fresh Scent All Purpose Flower, or All Purpose Flower. I saw a little, those aren't, oh, I don't know, those are flowers? Yeah. These are All Purpose Wipes, and this is great for sanitizing. Um, before you put any of your products down, you want to make sure that everything is sanitized. Sorry, I just threw all that. So, next thing is mostly samples that I keep in here, actually, because I want to use some samples on um, clients from Sephora to see if I like the quality of it, or, you know, maybe I can just give these to them. So, um, these aren't my colors, which is why I didn't keep them. Otherwise, I would have definitely tested it out for myself, but... This is the Cover FX um, little foundations. I believe this is the um, the Cover FX drops. So 
This is great. It comes in NC20, or not NC20, N20, N60, N40, and N100. And I believe the lightest shade that they have is N10. So I know this isn't going to fit me because I went to Sephora and I swatched it and it was a good color match. So, yeah. The next thing I have is this Bobbi Brown and it's in the color CN5 and it's a concealer because you can see um, it actually has a lot of a lot of product in here and um, when I ordered on Sephora I got a few more of these so that's great I have hand sanitizer because when you're working with um, your clients you want to make sure that your hands are clean you want to make sure that they see you cleaning your hands and all of that you want to be very very hygienic um, next thing I have is a hand cream and this is for me and my clients. Um, I have another one of these for my clients, which I'll probably end up labeling. But, you know, if my hands get dry, if my clients' hands get dry, I'll just give them this little sample and can go on with their day with sand or not sanitized hands, with very non-dry hands. Next thing I have is this e.l.f. Um, what is it? This is a... Uh, Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer, and I believe this is in the new Sheer formula. This is great. What I'm going to do is I'm either going to put it on the back of my hand, put it on a palette, and apply it to their eyes. Because, or I could just take that. I'll probably just end up taking a little eyeshadow thing and putting it in here. Um, one thing you want to do, and if this will help anyone else, I will definitely do a video on it. But you... I like sanitation with makeup when you dip something in there you only dip it once you are not gonna dip it back in because that's not gonna be sanitary you know so anyways I have three more little things to show you that are in this bag I have this Sephora oil infusion lip gloss this is great I got it in a little sample pack um, I didn't like the color for myself, so I figure I'll just either use it on clients or give it away as a little sample. Because I do want to give away little samples to my clients after, you know, I finish with their makeup and stuff. I have this The Balm Bronzer. It's just a little sample size. Next things I have are, along with the cotton rounds, they're just latex free foam sponges and I got latex free because you never know if someone is allergic to latex you want to make sure that you get something that's kind of universal for everyone if they're allergic to latex these are great because they are latex free and that's awesome next thing I have is this beach cosmetics brush and brush holder <laughs> it's like how do I explain it but this is really cute look at it. it's a lot smaller than my sigma one these honestly remind me of little travel size brushes but they're i mean they're big enough to not be but they kind of look like that so and these are the brushes and these just come apart into little little sections like this and you can hold your brushes in here um so i'm just going to be going I did drop one that's great now I have to clean it okay so I have this little angled blending brush um, I have there's this spoolie that's really great um I don't know if that'll be I'll actually be using that because it seems pretty stiff but we'll see I have this little um, I don't know what this is. I think this might be a concealer brush. The only thing that's bad about this is it doesn't have, you know, labels on the brushes. It just says PH Cosmetics, so I'll have to look into that. This is like a little under eye setting brush. It's really cute. I love these. These are great. Or you can use it as a highlighter brush or bronzing brush or something like that. This is a foundation brush. This is a powder brush, and all of them are all of the handles have different colors, which is really cute. 
This is a mini foundation brush. You can also use it as for concealer. Here's a cute blending brush and I have used these and they work amazing. As I said, I am going to be using this stuff on myself very, very lightly and making sure to sanitize it all because I want to make sure that I know how to work the products that I bought as well as these brushes. So I got a, we have a little, um, oh, it's shedding a little bit and not too bad, but it is shedding a little bit. Um, blush brush and a little angled eyeliner or brow brush. So that is awesome. And this was really cheap, so I figured if I didn't like it, um, I mean, I didn't lose out on too much. You know, it's better than spending a whole bunch of money on Sigma brushes and... You know, I'm just starting out. I am using high-end makeup. I didn't tell you that before, but I am using all high-end makeup because I want to make sure the makeup products that I use are high quality and they're good, they're better for people's skin than a drugstore. So these are really cute. I think I only paid like maybe $21, including shipping for these, so that's great. Okay, and some things that I have for myself is this Sonia Kashuk brush cleaner, and you can use, I believe you can use this as spot cleaner, or you can wet it and, um, you know, just wash it in regular, and I like the pump, or not the pump, the little spray on it. Next, which is really exciting because it's sold out on Sephora, um, and I ended up getting my hands on it, which is cool, but it's the Lolita Kat Von D Lolita Liquid Lipstick, and it's so beautiful. I looked at it in the tube, I was like, no, this isn't going to work, this is going to be way too dark for me. It's so beautiful, this is the only, this is like the only dark color that I've ever worn that looks good on me. I can't even wear reds, because they just don't look good on me, it just looks like like really like I'm really pale and I have this like super red lip on and it enhances like my dry skin and it, it's not nice but I really love this they're matte they're great I'm um, picked up a few of the bow and arrow ones and I'm hoping I like those and I have precision q-tips and this is for removing a little makeup mistakes and all of that for my clients and I also already put it in this little convenient travel case which is really cute so oh there's a hair on it so that's okay so next I have more little makeup bags and these pretty much hold samples or skincare stuff. So this one holds my samples that I'm going to be giving away to my clients after they receive their makeovers. And it just has, you know, this Stella perfume sample, this Living Proof shampoo and conditioner sh sample, this deep conditioning sample, this um, ultra fortifying cream sample, <laughs> it's a pretty big sample, and then this is the bright blonde, and obviously I'll only be giving these people with blonde hair, sample of shampoo and conditioner, so that's great, I have a few more samples that I need to add to here when my Sephora um, orders come in, but for now that, those are all the samples that I have. Next, we're going to get into this bag, and this is a cute little Ipsy bag that I got. First, we have this Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. And if you're not familiar with makeup artists, they um, advise people to moisturize, cleanse their face, make sure they don't have any additional products other than those things on their face. And... Um, you know, you never know if someone's going to do that or not, so 
you gotta stay, you know, um, prepared. This is the Morning Burst Oil Free Facial Scrub. What I'm going to be doing to keep these sanitized is I'm going to be getting little containers and squeezing a little bit of these products in there. So, well, not with the moisturizer. I can put the moisturizer on them myself. But uh, for them to cleanse their face, they need to do it themselves. It's just better. And um, so I'll be putting this in a little container for them to wash their face. Next, I have a Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Um, this is just a sample. I like it. I mean, it doesn't work very well for me, but I think it would look work really well for people with more oily skin. So this is a face primer by Too Faced. It's just a little sample. And then we have a little sample of the Urban Decay uh, All Nighter Setting Spray. And I did sneak peek to my next video, but I did buy more of those, so I'm excited, and they're full size, they're not just little samples, um, so that's that. Next, I figured I needed some good eyeshadow palettes, so I invested in three of them, and here is two of them. So, I invested in the Naked One palette. And I think you guys all pretty much know what the Naked One palette looks like. Um, it just looks like this, and it just looks like this. <laughs> pretty. The next thing I got is the Naked Smoky palette, and I actually had this for myself, and I ended up returning it. Funny thing was, I was so excited to get it. Sephora messed up my order. They sent me the wrong items. So... I ended up calling Sephora and they were closed. Then I went to Ulta, I picked it up, and then the next day Sephora, I called them and they shipped me one. So I had two, two of them, and I was like excited because I thought I would love, love it because I love all the other ones, except I haven't tried the first one. Um, but, you know, I just, I was excited and I ended up not liking it. But I think it would be great for people... Um, for, for other people, not for me. So, it's so beautiful. If you want me to do a review on this palette since it is fairly new, um, I will do that for you guys. It is honestly the most beautiful palette ever. Like, I'm just, I'm just showing you that. Because it is really pretty. The shadows are very nice. Um, you know, all of that. I did swatch these just to kind of get a feel for them since I, you know, I've used, I only use this, not this particular one, but when I had it, I only used it about twice, so I, I actually forgot what the formula felt like, but I mean, they're just like regular Urban Decay shadows, so. Next, which is really exciting, and it's from the Tarte Holidays, um, set, like little holidays collection. And this is this beautiful blush palette, and it was $44, as you can see. And let's take it out. Look at how beautiful it is. Um, I don't actually really like the packaging. I like the sparkliness of it. It is super sparkly. It's girly. It's kind of like... It's cute, right? But, I mean... The... The problem that I have, even it's in here, the sparkles come off and it's so annoying. But, I mean, here's the palette. It just has five blushes. They're beautiful. Again, if you want a more in-depth review of these, um, I will make a more in-depth review. These are gorgeous. They're beautiful. I am so jealous that I don't have one for myself. But... I can always use this very lightly and sanitize it and stuff. I just, I would rather have one for myself, you know? All of this stuff is like, it's mine, it's in my makeup collection, but it's not mine. You know, it's for my clients, so I wouldn't want to use it. Next things I got were four Makeup Revolution palettes. There's another hair! Ah! Okay, Makeup Revolution palettes, and... 
Um, you can only get these on Ulta online. This is a UK brand, so I believe it's a UK brand. So, let's get into these. These are awesome. You know, I, this is more of a drugstore um, thing, you know, drugstore makeup, but oh my gosh, the quality of these are amazing. Look at this packaging. Look at it. It's so beautiful, and this is in Hot Spice. This is the blush palette. I didn't show you. Did I show you? The blush palette. The back looks like that. Open this baby up, and oh, the little plastic thing fell out. I'm going to just put this on here. Look at, look at these. And again, if you want any reviews on this makeup, I will definitely do that for you. But it comes with um, eight shades and two of them are marbleized. Some of them are matte and it, it tells you on the little thing which ones are matte, which ones are shimmery. These are little marbleized ones and then, you know, this is like the lighter, more like deeper palette and it's beautiful. This is in Hot Spice. Then I got a... I'm just going to put that right there. I don't want these to fall or anything, you know? That would be awful. Um, next thing I got was this other blush palette and I know a lot of blushes, which is why I don't need that bl the blush palette that um, my Makeup Academy sent me. I just don't need it. I just don't because it's not something that I will get used out of. Oh, I keep forgetting. My camera cut off. So, um, but this is what this one looks like. Same packaging. And this one is in sugar and spice. So they all have like the spice names to them. Oh, okay, I cut my nail like super short and I opened it and it hurt really bad, so. Um, this is what this one looks like. Oh, let me get the little, the little thing right here. But this is what this one looks like. It's so beautiful. Again, it has the marble, marbleized blushes slash highlighters. And it has all these beautiful, beautiful blushes. It's so pretty. I love it. I want these for myself. But, it's okay. It's okay, alright? Okay. So, we'll just put this back in here. Ah, so much makeup. I told you guys, this is going to be like a really long video. So, next is this Cover and Conceal Palette by Makeup Revolution. This is in the light medium one. I figure most people, at least in my area, are going to be light to medium skin tone um, and it has the same packaging and it is beautiful it is so pretty I love them I love the colors um, I don't know if it's picking up the color correctly on the in the palette but it's really nice and I actually think I might need to get the medium to deep one just because these are actually really light and I don't feel like, well they're conceal, well yeah they're concealers so I guess I can make do with these mixing and matching all of the colors. So that is great and then the last palette that I have is the Makeup Revolution Brow Palette and this is in, it doesn't say. I don't know. It doesn't say. It says bulletproof palette. Woo! Medium to dark. And I figured most people have medium to dark um, brows. Because not, not a lot of people have blonde brows. Or at least I feel like um, that's easier to do with other products. So here's just what it looks like. So pretty. It comes with four powders and two waxes. And then a concealer and a highlighter, tweezers, a little, little applicators, and what is that? That is a brow pencil. So these are really, really cool palettes. Um, honestly, these were so cheap for the quality. These, these 
honestly, I would compare these to like high quality makeup. These are only $10 on Ulta.com. So that's really awesome. And I know it's a mess back there. Ignore it. <laughs> Okay, last two things from Makeup Forever, or not Makeup Forever, Makeup Revolution, sorry if I've been saying Makeup Forever this whole time, it's Makeup Revolution, are these beautiful highlighters, and these are uh, vivid, they're vivid highlighters, and this is in Peach Lights and Golden Lights, so I'm just going to open this up for you guys, I'm trying not to hurt my nail. It's so pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, these are great. I was like, why is the lid moving? Is it breaking? Um, but no. The, the packaging on this is really nice too. It's like really hard plastic. It's not like cheap plastic. This is Golden Lights. Honestly, um, this one has like a greenish undertone to it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like a greenish undertone. And it doesn't really look too golden. Just my opinion. But these are beautiful. I do want to get, they have another one, but it's sold out. And I think it is called Radiant Light. And that one is comparable to the MAC. Um, like the new Magic of the Night collection they had this like really popular, well both of them were really popular, but um, I don't know what the highlighter was called, but it's supposed to be a dupe for one of those highlighters. Next, which is really exciting, is I got the Lorac Pro 2 Mega, or the Lorac Mega Pro 2, right? Mega Lorac Pro Mega 2, I don't know. Name is weird, I don't know how to say it, and it's beautiful you guys. I. I'm so excited to have this. These are just the shadows and they're beautiful. Again, if you guys want a video on... Oh, if you guys want a video on these, some of these are weird. I don't know if I'm going to have to return this and get a new one or what, but... These are beautiful, beautiful shadows. I love these. Uh, I'm just going to put it back there. Last thing I got. Last thing. I know this haul is huge, but last thing I got was the Shaney Cosmetics um, foundation palette. And this is really, 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 really nice. And... Um, it just looks like this. It's a shiny on it, and um, it has all of these foundations, and they double as concealers too. Um, so it's really nice. It has like this corrector one, and it's really pretty. So I'm excited. I bought this because I wasn't sure how the other one would turn out. Um, and I'm glad I got this one because the other ones don't really have darker, darker shades and this one does. So, that is my huge haul for my makeup kit. I am so excited. Um, this, this was, honestly, I did buy this within the span of a few days, which is awful, I know, because it was a lot of money, but... I am so excited to just get started and to do all of this and ah, I'm so excited you guys. So um, I will have more hauls coming soon. I recently placed a few orders on Sephora and I will be doing that, you know. So stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you stuck through this whole video, Oh my gosh, thank you. I know it was a long video. Thank you. Alright, bye guys.